fatality. Okay, guys, um, this is going to be a DVD video. Uh, I really wanted to do something else, but uh, I thought, you know what? If I'm going to recommend wrestling to someone, they're probably going to want to know what to check out. And while I can't recommend Raw right now, and I can't really 100% recommend Impact right now, but I do think people should ch ch start checking out Impact again. If you've been off TNA's bandwagon, or you've been like, oh, TNA, what the hell? Go check it out. Uh, you can see Bully Ray, who is uh, Bubba Ray Dudley, holding the belt, and he's doing a great job, by the way. He's completely changed his gimmick. He's, he's left Devon behind. Uh, but he's kind of back with him at the moment, so he's not doing the tag team thing with him, he's doing something else with him. So, check that out. I haven't been watching the show for the past couple of weeks because I lost my uh, cable and I just need to get it back again uh, in uh, impact for some other way. But I thought, you know what, how about I try and get um, people... Uh, get uh, having a look at the DVDs uh, because uh, it's a good way to catch up on your wrestling and uh, get more familiar with the, the product because uh, sometimes you want to know where it's been and uh, initially when I got into wrestling in 99 I, I went back I went I, I watched the show for a while and I thought okay uh, let me go back and see how far I can go back and I mean I checked out the first Wrestlemania it's a bit slow for me at the time but I, I think I think I should go and have another look at it but uh, I thought you know what well so let's get, get get going here um these are all TNA DVDs by the way um cuz I don't think WWE's product been good for a long time but uh, if you want me to do a WWE uh, rec DVD recommend video, put it down there and I may do one. Uh, but uh, mainly because Sid and I were talking on Skype. So I thought, uh, if he's at all interested, I can give him some recommends and maybe he might check out the product. <sighs> he's not really a wrestling fan, but I thought, you know what? Uh, maybe if I focus this uh, video a little bit on him, he might check it out, so, yeah. Uh, uh, I thought this would be a good good one to, to, to recommend. It's TNA Year One. It's mostly documentaries, so, uh, you get some interviews with the wrestlers, uh, and, and, it's, and it's pretty much shoot style, so. Oh, by the way, when I say shoot style, it means it's... It's not, uh, it, it's, uh, real. Uh, it's not, like, uh, wrestling interviews or anything, so, uh, I thought this, this might be interesting, um, for if you wanted to, if people wanted to see where TNA came from, uh, this is, uh, about their first year and how they got in the, the, started, uh, it talks a bit, a bit about the first show, uh, it talks about some of the great matches, and it includes a couple of good matches, too, so, I'll just read them off, okay, you got the... Jerry Lynn, AJ Styles, and Psychosis uh, versus uh, and okay, sorry. Let's try that again. So it's Jerry Lynn versus AJ Styles versus Psychosis versus Senshi. Uh, initially, that was going to be the match I was going to review for the first show, uh, first two reviewers of reviewers, but it was way too complicated. It wouldn't have worked out. Uh, it would have been worse than the <laughs> the woman's one I did. So yeah. But that's a really good athletic match, fast paced, so it's like bam, 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 bam. So even if you're probably not really a wrestling fan, uh, if you really want to see some guys fly around the ring doing some crazy shit, uh, check that match out. It's it's one of my fa it, it's probably my favorite match that hasn't got Undertaker in it. So yeah, check check that out. Uh, hell, it might even be my favorite match ever. Okay, uh, then we got a ladder match with three of the guys. So we got. Jerry Lynn, AJ Styles, and Senshi. Uh, Senshi was still known as Loki in both of these matches, but uh, the guy that is Senshi owns the rights to that character. Sorry, I, I know people. Uh, some, some, if you're a wrestling fan and you like TNA, you already know that. But this is for, for people who don't don't really watch wrestling. So, uh, but yeah, 
uh, America's Most Wanted, who is a great tag team, by the way. I like them more than Beer Money. I know I'm in the minority on that. Uh, like the very limited minority, but I, re I I saw America's Most Wanted first. Okay, I saw saw them first. Uh, but to me, you can't have beer money without America's Most Wanted and Team Canada. So, yeah, that's my thing. And the New Church, which is two uh, goth, uh, not really goth guys, but like. Uh, like evil demonic type uh, wrestler guys so yeah and you got America's Most Wanted which are the baby face tag team like the cow uh, one's a guy named the cowboy James Storm and the other one's named the wildcat okay you can probably guess uh, they're pretty generic I don't want to say generic but they're, they're pretty ordinary so you got those guys in a match and then you got Jeff Jarrett who's infamous in the last days of WCW um, a guy taking on Raven, who is another dark wrestler. So, I like a lot of wrestlers that are like uh, dark and demonic. Uh, Raven isn't kind of like, it's kind of like that. He's, he's... <sighs> all right. When you think when you see Raven, you probably think um, Edgar Allan Poe. He, he does a lot of po he puts a lot of poetry into his uh, promos. Uh, so yeah, that's. That's a good match to check out. I really like that match too. A little bit weird. Uh, I did do a review of it. I uh, just, again, uh, as Sid pointed out, I spent a lot of time on the summary of that match. It's just, it's it, to me, that's uh, that was what I was hooked on at the time. I was doing summaries more than reviews and critiques. But yeah, that's that one. Okay. Uh, oh, by the way, all four of those matches are great. Uh, uh, I, I know um, they got their flaws in them, but th this is more of a recommends than a than an actual review. Uh, if you want me to do reviews on the DVDs, uh, post a comment below. I uh, but generally uh, I'm recommending these mainly because they they're all good. Uh, this is knocked out. Uh, if you want to see some good women's wrestling, uh, apart from going to Shimmer, uh, the, this is probably good. It's got one of the very few on the main stage matches. It's got some matches. It's got interview, interview, match. Interview, interview, match is, is the format they use, which is crazy. I wish they just... <sighs> sorry, sorry. That's, uh, this was during that uh, time, which is still around. God, do a straight documentary. Put the matches on a different disc. Sorry. <laughs> But yeah, uh, let's let's uh, let me have a look at this. It's got uh, one of the few ladder matches on there. Right, okay, hey, I'm gonna show you a picture on the back now. Don't be eating when you see this. Roxy Laveau, one of my favorite wrestlers. Uh, she gets the head shaved uh, after that ladder match, guys. And it's very rare for women women to have ladder matches. Uh, to explain the ladder matches, okay, hang the belt in the middle of the ring. Above the ring, and in order to reach it, you got to climb a ladder and grab the belt, bring it down, <laughs> unhook the belt, and have it in your hand. There you go. There, that's it. That's that's a. You do that, you win the match. But yeah, uh, and this is Christy Hemming on the front. Uh, I've seen some different versions. It's covered with someone else on the front. But yeah, uh, and then you got Gail Kim on the back. Uh, she's a great women's wrestler. I don't think. She's probably as great as people make her out to be, but she is still pretty good. Uh, that's Angelina Love, and Velvet Sky is still around. Ro that's Roxy Laveau, and that's Awesome Kong. One of the baddest bitches on the planet. Right? But yeah, check out that DVD for the matches alone. Interviews are great, uh, by the way. Great message in that one. This is the Asylum Years. Uh, this covers part of the, the first year and has a, a few good matches on it. Uh, again, it repeats the... I think it does. Yeah, it does. A Raven, Jeff Jarrett match. Uh, the, the ladder match I was telling you about as well. And you got, um, you got, uh, you got some interesting matches on there. You got Jeff Hardy versus Jeff Jarrett as well on there. It's pretty good. Couple of bonus matches like AJ versus Dilo Brown, uh, a lot of Sabu, a lot of Abyss on here. 
Uh, this is good. again. I know I'm saying it's a lot of dark character, but he's like the the beast that beast from beneath that sort of thing. That's the reason he's called this. But that's a good DVD. Ah, uh, here's the one that everybody will t say yes. Recommend that DVD. It's great. <sighs> The best of the X Division. Now, I got volumes 1 and 2 in this. Okay, so try and get this collection. Uh, there's some great matches. There's a great highlights of this um, Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, uh, Christopher Daniels feud uh, on there here as well. And you get some great impact matches as well. But yeah, uh, in the first volume, you get some great uh, highlights matches as well. All, all great stuff. Um, do check, uh, this is worth checking out. Hunt this down. If you can find it, buy it, you will you won't regret it. Um, uh, this one, uh, a lot of the beginning days of TNA, and uh, honestly, that's some of the best times, but you get a lot of Jeff Jarrett, uh, and you get, get to see that the guy is actually a bit of a talent as well. Uh, you get some of his past, you get, you get some of the, the really ancient matches like some of his first stuff from the territory days so you get some of that and really just an all around good DVD you get some great matches you get some bad matches on there but a lot of good matches on there alright last one uh, ultimate matches now this one I recommend uh, you don't probably not going to want to watch it all in one hit okay you're going to want to check it uh, it's a lot of gim uh, what they call gimmick matches. That means matches with like stipulations, like um, l like the ladder match. Uh, you get some King of the Mountain in here, and Bale. Look, to be really honest, that's confusing to explain. Okay, it's much easier if you hear the rules and then watch the match. Okay, because it's very confusing. There's like you have to pin someone to grab the belt uh, to hang a belt, and ooh, crazy. But I do like those matches, and I really, really wish they'd bring it back, because it, it was a good idea. It, it, it was completely out of your mind to kind of match. But, and you get Ultimate X, which is like a ladder match without a ladder. <laughs> Essentially, they'd have ropes that make an X, and you'd have to climb across to get to the X or the belt. Really, uh, crazy, crazy matches. You get hardcore and full metal mayhem and crazy stuff. Some uh, some good Jeff Hardy stuff on here, but yeah. Uh, if any, if anyone, if you got any questions about the the DVDs, though, uh, I do recommend them. They that's a good one. Uh, that one's a good one, but very long. Uh, uh, that's like four or five discs, but good value for money. Uh, that's uh, two discs, but that's two DVDs combined. And um, mainly get that for the first volume. The second one's not so great. But uh, it's like the last good days of the X Division. You got that as uh, well. That's good. Uh, for good value for money. Uh, I picked that up fairly cheap and that was really good uh, that one that, that one's good too um, I wouldn't say any of these great but uh, this one I would just because the documentary is so good uh, and very informative to have on DVD uh, it's been explained in magazines before but if you haven't read any uh, like Power Slam or uh, Power, yeah, especially Power Slam Power, Power Slam went really in depth with uh, this and explained in great detail but that's worth for having on DVD because you get the Jeff Jarrett's perspective you get Raven's perspective on it so it's really good to to hear about that um, uh, and it's sort of in for, uh, like it's it's on like just really a good good DVD to have especially if you're a TNA fan uh, it's got four great matches uh, and it's only a single DVD the documentary as I said is very informative about I really wish they would do a year two 
uh, on this. Uh, I know they got they did the asylum years, but uh, I would much rather read like a year two uh, to explain because it, like whole heaps of stuff happened in the second year. Uh, to be honest, and I really wish they'd do like the, uh, the history of year TNA year two and then go year three because that's when they got impact going and they got those three hour pay-per-views and I'd love to hear the stories behind behind that. I know that there's more going on in that company behind closed doors in those two years and so uh, seriously guys uh, I would really like that. Like if, if they did it year one and uh, year two and three they, they, they'd still be good. Uh, and the beginnings of impact, the the decision to go to a six sided ring. Ah, uh, by the way, I'm kind of over the six sided ring going back, uh, going away. But I'd still like it back for like that extravaganza show. I don't know if that was back. If it was. It'd give me all the more reason to hopefully buy that on DVD. Ah, uh, so yeah, those six DVDs. Um, if you're a wrestling. If you're interested in getting into wrestling and you're not not too sure, uh, go out, rent one of these. Uh, I, I don't know if they're available on Netflix. Pick one up, have a look at it. Especially that one. Uh, that one. If you if you watch that and you're not instantly a fan of TNA, what's wrong with you? That one. Uh, that one. I'll forgive you on. That one. I might too. But uh, if you watch the X, X, Ultimate X matches. And you're not a fan after that, you seriously need some help. <laughs> okay, uh, I know I've gone on a bit long here, but uh, I, I just like to recommend stuff to people. Uh, but uh, stay tuned because after I finish this, it's Booker Who time. <laughs>